here. It looked like they're like joined together at one When you look at a globe of the Earth, it is easy to think that our planet has always looked this way, that the continents and ocean basins are where they've always been and where they will always be. But if you examine the globe more closely, you may notice something curious. Some of the continents appear as if they may have been joined at one time. A good example of this are the coastlines of South America and Africa. When you compare them, you will find, with just a little bit of adjustment, that they match quite nicely, like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. And see how the island of Madagascar slides next to Africa. The same goes for North America. Its eastern coastline fits nicely around portions of Africa. People have been noticing these kinds of shoreline similarities for a long time. In the early 1900s, German scientist Alfred Wagner believed that in the distant past, later determined to be about 200 million years ago, the continents had been joined in a single supercontinent Wagner called Pangaea, and then had split apart, moving ever so slowly around the globe until they reached their present day positions. Wagner called his theory of moving continents continental drift, and he offered additional evidence in an attempt to prove his point. Wagner found fossils of nearly identical animals in both South America and Africa. Wagner believed the only way identical animals could be found on distant continents were if the continents had been joined at one time. Wagner also found plant fossils in cold Arctic regions where these plants could not grow today. Wagner believed the plants had grown there before the continents had drifted. Wagner was convinced the continents had drifted. The only problem, he could hardly convince anyone else. Other scientists needed more proof, and that wouldn't come until years later, when scientists mapped the ocean floor.